Hello, in this lecture, we will define carrying value of bonds. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources, such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of carrying value of bonds is net amount at which bonds are reported on the balance sheet equals the par value of the bonds less any unamortized discount plus any unamortized premium also called carrying account or book value when we're thinking about bonds we could be thinking about the issuer of the bonds or purchasing of the bonds we we often think of purchasing of bonds as a form of investment However, we're gonna think about it from this case in this example as the issuing of the bond. So if we are a corporation, we can issue the bond as a form of revenue generation, a form of cash flow, similar to a note, us receiving money for the bond, the bond being a promise to pay at some point in the future. There could be some different terms to the bond, but one of the main characteristics of a bond is that the interest rate is typically going to be on the bond as is the carrying amount meaning the amount that will be due at the end of the term of the bond so in this case we have the face amount at 240,000 of bonds that we're going to issue now we cannot just ask for $240,000 now and promise to repay the 240 as we would with a note because the varying factor within a note typically would be the interest rate. But in this case, we're saying, hey, the interest rate's already on the bond. It's on, we're gonna say it's 6%. So if the bond has 6% interest rate, and if that is different than the market rate, then uh, we're gonna have a problem here. We're gonna have to do something in order to sell our bonds if we cannot adjust the interest rate. What are we gonna have to adjust the amount of money that we're going to receive for those bonds. So the difference between bonds and notes is that in order to adjust for market forces, in the case of notes, we usually adjust the interest rate. In the case of bonds, we're typically going to adjust the amount of money we're going to receive. In our example here, the market rate is going to be higher than the rate that we have, meaning people could put money somewhere else and get a higher rate. What does that mean in terms of our issue price? it's going to have to be lower. We're going to have to accept more money, I mean less money, than the face value of the bond uh, in this case because we're offering a lower interest rate which is already on the bond. So in our case, how are we going to record this? We're going to say that we are issuing the bond for 198484 It's lower than the face amount. We're not going to calculate how to get to that amount at this point but we're recognizing the fact that because the rate of the bond is lower than the market rate, market rate not being something on the bond, something that we would need to know through the market, because of that, we're getting less money than the face value of the bond. We're gonna put the bond on the books as a liability in a similar way as we would if it was a loan, meaning we owe the money back. And of course, we have a difference between the debits and credits. We're gonna shore that up with the discount. So if we were to record this, we would reduce the, ca I mean, we would increase the cash for the issuance. We'd put the bonds on the books as a credit. We owe that money back in the future. And then we have this discount. Notice it's a liability. Notice it has a debit balance. What that means is that we owe back the entire bond of the 240. However, when the, the carrying value of the bonds will be the 240,000 minus the 41,516. And that's gonna be the carrying amount of 198,484. That difference being due to the fact that the, the rates are different here. So what we're gonna do over the life of this bond is 
to uh, re expense this amount out, lower it at some in some fashion, uh, in, and expense it in the form of interest expense over the life of the bond. Thank you.